I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. If you can afford to do so, wait to fill up the gas tank. Price for gas coming down sharply at midnight tonight across the GTA by five cents per liter to a peak price of around $1.249. As the prices fall, well, there's some questions whether or not this has anything to do with the PC government's plan to remove the carbon taxes from the price of the pumps. Not so, says Roger McKnight, our gas price watcher at Enpro. Says there are other things at play here. It may have a lot to do with uh, the switch from summer gas to winter gas. Winter gas is lower to, to lower cost to produce. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. It may have something to do with the, the drop in fear of the Colonial Pipeline that carries uh, 100 million gallons of gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel to New York Harbor per day. That did not uh, shut down, so that's got some, something to do with it. McKnight argues that if, in fact, carbon taxes were a part of this price decline, the uh, government would likely put out a press release uh, talking about it, as they have done already, with the fact that natural gas prices are coming down effective October 1st. Well, we've got trade talks set to restart tomorrow in Washington. NAFTA negotiations, the uh, top officials for Canada and the U.S. getting back to the bargaining table. The big question, can they get past the stumbling blocks of supply management in dairy? The issues regarding dispute resolution in any trade deal and or access to the media sector and whatever else they're talking about behind closed doors. The clock ticking down as the end of the month has been put in as a, well, pretty much a drop-dead deadline to get a deal done to give the U.S. Congress time to vote ahead of the U.S. midterm elections. Another thing we're watching today was the fact that the U.S. and China ratcheted up their trade dispute. The U.S. putting tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese exports starting on September 24th. China retaliating with $60 billion in tariffs of their own. And the market today basically shrugged. Main issue is the fact that Apple products coming out of China pretty much won't be affected in this next round of uh, Trump trade war maneuvers. So we saw Apple shares up sharply today. Amazon had a good day as well and the markets bouncing back from some Monday selling pressure. And there was more marijuana mayhem on Bay Street today. The pot stocks uh, just going up and up and up. The latest was uh, Tilray, which is actually a stock listed on Wall Street. It's out of B.C. Announced today that they have gotten clearance to ship marijuana to California for uh, testing for medical purposes at the University of California, San Diego. That news, even though there's no sales or anything of that nature to announce, was enough to send Tilray up 15%. And the stock has gone up 600% since it was listed in July and is now worth, as a company, more than $14 billion U.S. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.